Hey guys, John from the John Muir Show here, and have you noticed that so much of what the Democrats say and do these days totally based in lies? Well, yeah, it is the case. If you haven't noticed, allow me to give you a few reminders. With so many of the major debates going on in today's United States, uh, the Democrats, they just lie left and right. I mean, take illegal migration, for example. Democrats lie in trying to make a case about how illegal migration actually helps the United States of America, that it is a benefit to the citizens of the United States of America, even though that's not true whatsoever. It's, it's just a bunch of lies, but they say it anyway because it's self-serving politically. Uh, when it comes to the entire, oh, Trump colluded with the Russians leading up to the 2016 election and Trump obstructed justice in the Mueller witch hunt, when they make those cases, yeah, Full of lies. I mean, there's no truth to any of what they're saying. Trump did not collude with the Russians. Trump did not obstruct justice in the Mueller investigation. We know those things to be true, but yet Democrats lie so that folks hopefully believe all the crap that they're selling. So Democrats, they lie quite a bit, and that is why it really doesn't come as a surprise whatsoever to hear that one of the new leaders of the Democrat Party has been caught in a lie. That would be Minnesota Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. So uh, recently, uh, you had uh, Omar going to talk with this group of high school students from uh, her district, somewhere in the Minneapolis area, and Omar goes on to tell this story to these kids uh, about how when she was on the Minnesota or the, the Minneapolis City Council just a few years back, she had seen the, this example of a grave injustice that took place. Uh, Omar's talking about how there was uh, this, uh, somewhere along the lines uh, she put it of a, a sweet old African-American lady who ended up being uh, locked up for an entire weekend because she stole a $2 loaf of bread to try and feed her hungry granddaughter and saying, oh my goodness, it was just so terrible. They, they locked this woman up and then when they let her out, they made her pay an $80 fine all because she was trying to do the nice thing of feeding her granddaughter when her granddaughter was hungry. And Omar goes on to say, and you know what? For a woman like this who doesn't have a criminal record, I mean, there is no reason whatsoever why why she should have been locked up and she should have been punished so severely because, because the law says that, that if you're just a first time offender who shoplifts, that, that you're not supposed to be subjected to this. Oh, but those cops, they subjected the sweet old African American lady to it, probably because they were racist. Yeah, so Omar goes on pitching this entire story to this group of high school students, but there were some folks who didn't quite buy what Congresswoman Omar was pitching. Uh, there were some folks who noted, hey, this really sounds a lot like the plot of Lay Miz. Is it possible that Congresswoman Omar was merely stealing the plot of Lay Miz and repackaging that to these high school students? Well, they looked into it a bit more, and there were some folks who asked questions of Congresswoman Omar. And at that point, Congresswoman Omar had to admit, oh, yeah. Uh, maybe I didn't get all of the details of that story correct. Uh, maybe it's possible that this sweet old African-American lady had a criminal past, that she had committed other crimes before stealing the loaf of bread, which of course changes the entire circumstances of this story. I mean, you're talking about somebody who's a repeat offender here. So Omar had to admit, oh yeah, yeah, I might've been lying about some of that stuff, which, doesn't come as any surprise. Like I said, for the Democrat Party, that's their thing. They lie to try to try and make whatever position they're advocating for seem popular and to try and get others on board. They lie. And you know why they do it? Because they don't have fact-based arguments that they could make to counter the sensible, lawful arguments that President Trump and conservatives make. So instead of trying to argue fact for fact, since they have no facts, it's all just, you know what? Eh, screw it. We're going to lie. We're gonna pretend that something that we just made up is totally true and we're gonna try and repeat it enough times and hope that other people believe it. And they usually get people to believe it with the help of it being repeated over and over again from various fake news media outlets. But in this case, yeah, Congresswoman Omar, she was trying to push this anti-cop narrative, try and make it seem that all the cops are a bunch of racists and they're out to get the black and brown people. It's just trying to advance this shameful liberally manufactured narrative we've seen going on for years now in the United States of America, but don't believe a single word of what they're saying. 
because once again, what a prominent Democrat is saying, nothing more than a bunch of lies. That's all the time that we have for today, but tune into the John Muir Show each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.